in this module you will know that why why it is insisted by gender ideology that oppositions differences and dichotomies should be established should be maintained they provide some rationale behind that and that rationale is functional let's see what this functionalism means how because this was the question before us when we talk about sex oppositions so first question is how are these oppositions linked with each other how we establish for example relationship between emotions and reason and reason is assigned to men and emotions are assigned to women how we bring these two attributes these opposite attributes together in one link what is the thing that connects them with each other it is gender ideology the answer is that it is gender ideology that relates them in popular mind it is done why it is done it is done to maintain difference and this is evident in expressions like opposite sex instead of saying an other sex or other an other sex or other sex we usually say opposite sex so this expression itself tells that something is natural something is effect and to think something effect whereas it is not effect this is called ideology this is gender ideology and that's why it is maintained through such expressions which are present in language and this is the way how language constructs gender that is our course all about this is evident in these expressions like opposite sex like battle of sexes it shows there is some conflict and gender gap again the same meaning ideological opposites are reinforced they are supported they are perpetuated through embedding embedding means when a thing lies inside and other thing this is called embedding in general sense to reinforce to establish the oppositions between sexes in gender ideology another thing is done not only men and female are kept apart from each other kept on poles apart rather within the category of men men are compared with other men and women are compared with other women again on certain oppositions let's see for example small men are compared with the taller men and it is usually thought that small men are less masculine and on the other hand large women they are taken as less feminine among other women but in many life affairs men and women are complementary now again we were talking about opposition and now opposition is being supplemented with complementarity we maintain dichotomies and we establish them through language why because we need complementary roles these complementary roles are given to opposite sexes this is called complementarity for example we we use this is very common that this is my life partner my better half here we don't see that oppositeness which we have been talking about short while ago here we see one completes the other then heterosexual attraction also creates complementarity 
people of opposite sexes, they are attracted to each other. Psychology supports this point of view that opposites attract to each other because people of different sexes, they don't know. They are unfamiliar about the experiences of the opposite sex. So there is a kind of curiosity to have interaction with people of opposite sex. The conclusion of our talk is that gender ideology maintains oppositions for social functions. And what are those social functions? We will discuss them in the coming modules in detail. So far, our purpose was to understand how sexual dichotomy, gender difference, they are related with social functions and what do we mean by functionalism.